IBM Workload Scheduler. Manage the security of your scheduling objects quickly and easily with a role-based security model. Managing user access security in an enterprise can be a very tough task for administrators if they don't have the right tools. Meet Tim. He works as an IBM Workload Scheduler Administrator in a large healthcare company that provides health benefits and services worldwide. In his role, Tim defines and updates the security settings for the Workload Scheduler tool. Not always an easy task. While it is simple to understand what a certain action on a specific object means when referring to objects on a well-organized desk, it might not be so simple when talking about actions on scheduling objects. Different types of users need different levels of access to different sets of scheduling objects. When a new application needs to be defined, updating the classic security file in a timely and accurate manner can be complicated. When Tim updates the security settings on the Master Domain Manager, the security file must then be synchronized on the Backup Master Domain Managers. Tim must always be very careful to avoid mismatches and delays because he has to complete this task manually. Finally, updating the security settings in the IBM Workload Scheduler environment has become an easy task. IBM Workload Scheduler has been greatly enhanced to provide role-based security management from a single point. By using the security management interface from Dynamic Workload Console, Tim can easily create or modify security roles, security domains, and access control lists, and accomplish his tasks quickly. A security role represents a certain level of authorization and includes the set of actions that users or groups can perform on a set of object types. A security domain represents a set of scheduling objects that users or groups can manage based on specific matching criteria. An access control list assigns roles to users or groups in a certain security domain. Online help, tooltips, object filtering, duplicate functions for roles and domains, and the use of LDAP user groups do assist Tim while accomplishing his tasks. Let's see an example. A new health tracker application, named MyTracker, must be developed inside the company. Tim has to modify the security settings for a group of eight application developers and provide them with access to objects, like jobs and job streams, related to the new application. First of all, Tim defines a security domain for the new application. To speed up this task, he chooses to duplicate and modify an existing domain. Tim assigns the domain a name, MyTracker. He then modifies the object filters to identify the objects matching the new application. Secondly, Tim defines a new access control list to assign the role of developer to the LDAP group named MyTracker underscore dev in the MyTracker domain. Tim also verifies that the role of developer has all the required permissions. He can use the tooltips to understand what a certain action means for a particular object. As soon as Tim saves the new security settings on the Master Domain Manager, they are automatically synchronized with the Backup Master Domain Managers, without any manual tasks or delays. IBM Workload Scheduler Role-Based Security Model makes easier even your toughest security tasks.